Hello, this is Dr. David Green, CEO of the Colorado Pain Network. The topic today is the basics of celiac plexus blocks. What exactly is a plexus block? It's an outpatient procedure used for pain relief from abdominal conditions, including pancreatitis, cancer, Crohn's, IBD, and more. It can also help provide diagnostic information, so it really does serve two purposes. It can prevent the nerves from this abdominal plexus transmitting pain signals to the brain, so that's one of the reasons it works for so many conditions in the abdominal cavity. The celiac plexus is a bundle of nerves in front of the diaphragm and in back of the stomach. It's close to the aorta and it surrounds the celiac artery. It supplies sensation, as you can see here, to a lot of organs, esophagus, um, liver, spleen, pancreas, kidneys, stomach, part of the small bowel, so, and a significant amount of blood vessels. Who does well with a celiac plexus block? When a person is having pain from one of the abdominal organs, the celiac plexus block can relieve this discomfort. As mentioned, pancreatitis, also pancreatic cancer, any of the upper abdominal cancers, and any chronic abdominal pain condition. How is the injection performed? It's an outpatient procedure. It's fairly short. The patient lays prone on their belly. They can receive uh, local sedation and IV. The uh, pain doctor will usually use two separate needles, as you can see here. One here and one here. Um, image guidance is used to uh, make sure that these are going in the right place. And then once the needles are close to the area for the injection, dye is injected to make sure that the pain doctor is happy with it. And once again, I mentioned it's both a diagnostic and a therapeutic purpose. Um, once the location is satisfactory, uh, what's injected is numbing medicine, potentially cortisone, um, and maybe phenol, which is a type of alcohol that can give longer lasting pain relief. Are there risks with the procedure? The answer is yes, but they are small. There's a small risk of infection, small risk of nerve injury, potential for some bleeding or anesthesia complication. Uh, if the needle goes in the wrong place, it can collapse a lung, and there can also be some transient um, low blood pressure or diarrhea. Well, what are the outcomes? Three-fourths of patients receive excellent pain relief from these injections for all types of chronic abdominal pain conditions. Oftentimes, a series of injections is necessary every few weeks, and it can reduce the need for opiate medications. Opiate medications often don't do very well for abdominal pain, and this can uh, reduce the need for them. Colorado Pain offers a top, top pain management clinics in the Denver metro area. They offer both medications and interventional treatments with board-certified pain doctors. Over 50 insurances are accepted. The Patient's Choice Award has been awarded five years in a row to the doctors. The number to call is 720-306-9575 and visit us on the web at painmanagementdenverco.com. I'm Dr. David Green for the Colorado Pain Network. Your pain stops here.